Hey, AD. Oh, it's you. Well, I expected somebody else, but just come in. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're Diana and Phil, and in this video, we're gonna show you around a typical German apartment. And the first thing actually has to do with the way you enter these apartments. Come back out with me. One of the things I noticed in Germany when I first arrived is the handles are not turnable. A lot of the front entrance handles are just these faux handles, and what, how you get in is you just have to turn the key to enter, and that's how you open the door. I think this is common throughout Europe too, we've been in a few. You can also extremely lock yourself into this one, but you're trapped with us. We have here a two bedroom apartment, or like we say in Germany, a three room apartment. It has 75 square meters, which should be anything a little bit above 800 square feet. And we have three separate rooms, separate kitchen, separate bathroom. We're here in the entrance room. It's the room of doors. <laughs> yeah, this is basically the hallway. We're pretty lucky. This is a very big one and all the other rooms are accessible from this one. So what we have here is a very typical shoe rack. We usually have a shoeless household, but for this video, I'm wearing it. When we film, we always wear shoes. Phil likes to wear shoes when he films. It's a weird thing. I don't know why. <laughs> it just makes me feel more confident. <laughs> Another thing that's very common in German houses are these doorbell speakers, whatever. This thing rings and then we can pick it up and speak to the outside world. Hello? Anybody there? Not right now. And then you just... And then we have this closet in our entrance room because there was literally no space anywhere else to put it. We have basically... Uh, most Don't of, open it! Don't we have open most it. of our clothes <laughs> stored here in the entrance hallway oh, no. room and then suitcases on top. We also have a little bit of storage in the basement and we show you at the end of the video, this is gonna be the creepiest basement dungeon you've ever seen, but stick around for that. One thing that Deanna wanted and did a very good job with is uh, like this section, because there was this empty space between these two doors. We've got this Ikea shelf and uh, put some doors in, some feet, and I think that elevated it so it looks quite nice. A little bit of decoration here. We have a spot for our keys. And then we have this picture that I uh, got you for your birthday, was Yeah, it's this artist based out of Munich. Yeah, and I think this area gives a very nice visual when you walk into the apartment for the first time, which is also nice because our doors are not the most beautiful, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. We're going into the living room or the Wohnzimmer. The main one, biggest room of the apartment. So this room is our TV watching room slash my office, doing this dual combination room here. You saw our sofa in the other video. We got it from eBay Klein and Sagan. It pulls out so it, you can make a little like sleeping bed, but also all of these come off so you can wash them, which is super nice. I think I scrubbed everything that we've gotten from the marketplace. Yeah, and that sofa was just a hundred euros. Yeah. Super cheap. It was a really good deal. Too. We tried to stay very budget with all the interior. Yeah, we needed to. One thing you'll notice is the very German windows. We have them all along this wall, which is really nice. And then they open up multiple ways, the fun stuff. Also, these curtains are something unique that I haven't seen before. Normally, I have like a curtain rod in the houses I've been in, in the US, but these roller curtain things, we had to find specific hooks for them and a specific curtain to get these. Phil actually ironed it. We had to borrow an ironing board and iron from our neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got black blackout curtains and they help a lot with the light and the yeah. sound. I like them a lot. Then we have the heater, nice heating system. Typical German. You heat every room individually, which is nice for heating costs. This room has gone through several variations of layout and it was a little difficult. We ended up settling on this just because it was the most open. We end up moving this TV stand all the way towards us every time we want to watch because Phil wants to get a new TV, but well, it's not in the budget at the moment. Well, the thing is, this is an old 37 inch TV and it's just too far away from the couch. Look, when you sit all the way back here, that thing is just not big enough and that's why we scoot it all the way over. Also, one of the common things when renting an apartment or a house in Germany is that it won't come with a light fixture. Sometimes it won't even come with a light bulb. We were here for the first few weeks with just a light bulb dangling here. It looked really rough, <laughs> but we end up getting this nice black metal light fixture and I like it. It's more decorative since we don't use overhead lights that often. <laughs> very nice, very industrial. Yeah. Then this is my office. This is my little desk area. Do some work on here, get it done. It's pretty standard. I have a whole bunch of desk office 
coworkers that are here with me and they support me. We are not complete with this, but we were not in a hurry to get any more things. We do need a rug though, I think. I like a little rug here because I like to sit down when I eat and if we sit down and eat here, I wanna eat on the coffee table. But this rug situation has been very difficult. We don't know what color to get, what texture, what pattern. Yeah, any suggestions welcome what kind of color for the rug should we get? Or should yeah. we get a rug at all? All right, leaving the living room, we're gonna go into the bathroom next. And our bathroom is behind this lovely door. Door number two. Yeah, let me turn the light on. Oh, I forgot to move uh, my clothes. <laughs> that's close here. It's not the fanciest bathroom, but I think it does a very good job with the room it's, uh, it's providing. One thing, we had to get the washing machine in there. Very common German apartments or houses in general. You either have the washing machine in the bathroom or the kitchen sometimes or you have a washing basement, but then you have to do all the stairs and stuff like that. So we had to get this one. This was used as well. It's always one of the heaviest things to get into an apartment, but it's in a spot now, it works, and that's very nice. Another thing we have is a bathtub, as you can <laughs> see. It's not just a shower. Often um, small apartments come just with a shower and also very common, the detachable shower head. So oh, you can wow. get all the spots, all the you crevices. know, and not just have this fixed one on the top. So that's very normal. He complains about that every time we're in the US. Yeah, I don't know how to, how to clean it out. Yeah, but aside from that, not very spectacular um, bathroom here. Oh, one thing, the sinks in Germany, they very rarely come with this underbuilt storage thing. Yeah, the vanity storage. The vanity stuff in the US is always like a, Huge thing. So we got these cheap IKEA things to have a little bit of storage. But you might have noticed there's no toilet in this room and this is very untypical. Atypical, Atypical. for a German apartment. Our toilet is actually separated. Behind so door number three. To door <laughs> number three. We have a completely separate room for the toilet, which is kind of nice. This one is even smaller. As you can see, it just... Uh, maybe one meter wide. We have the toilet, we have another sink, which is good. And the good thing about having it separated is if somebody wants to take a bath, like <laughs> I like to take a bath, you can still go to the, to the toilet. So that's good. And we have the same Ikea thing under this sink as well. I really need a bum gun though. I need to install a bum gun. That's something the typical German apartment is missing. I need a bidet. And if you don't know what a bum gun is, then I don't know, you go back and watch our Thailand videos. <laughs> You're missing out. All right, now we're going behind door number four. <laughs> we're going into the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. So in Germany, oftentimes the apartment will be rented without a kitchen, which is so bizarre to me. I feel like it's a necessity. You'll have to buy a new one, bring your old one, or buy the kitchen from the previous tenant, which can get expensive and crappy depending on what you have. We, we, ex true. we experienced some people trying to sell kitchens for more than they probably bought them for or they were worth. We have a sink, we have a dishwasher here. That's luxury. I like it. <laughs> we have our stove here. It's a little dirty. Wow. Well, I should have cleaned before you guys came over. And then we have our oven here. Wow. Pretty nice. That's our chef. That's our chef. That's private our chef. Sumo, private chef. Rice cooker. Rice cooker. Steamer. steamer. Cactus. Cactus. I'm not 100% sure if this is real or not. I've had this for two years now and... Uh, but you watered it and we thought maybe... It has maybe... real dirt, but I don't know. I've killed every other plant we've had, so we're sticking with the cactus and the fake plants. Let's see what's in the fridge. And then we have our fridge. <laughs> wow. This is judgment. <laughs> well, it's not the worst right now. This is our freezer. It's a little tiny. So we have an, another freezer here for additional stuff. <laughs> it's a little makeshift, you know, it's not the best fridge. So they put this other little one in there. Yeah, I think it's, it, it, it does the job. And we got this table for super cheap. It kind of matches the countertops, which is good, but it's not the It's the a best. little small. We thought it was bigger, but it's not. And then we have our coffee machine. Yeah, we got the Senseo machine again, because um, I think the pets are a little better than these. Metal the, plastic ones. Yeah, we, we don't like the plastic on the other ones. All right, one other thing we have is a closet pantry thing. Yeah. Do not judge us. This is going to be full on judgment in here. But, uh, I think it looks great. Yes, that looks great. It does. <laughs> That's what you need. Storage is never enough in any apartment. We put our cleaning stuff in there. We have a lot of food in there, some tools, boxes on the top. 
And it wasn't that clear before. The kitchen came with the apartment. We didn't have to pay for it. Oh yeah. Included in the rent. Yes, it's included. Now for the highlight of the whole apartment. It's the man cave or Phil's room, my room. <laughs> I feel a little stupid. All right, this is the room I spent a lot of time in on my computer. I had the cool screen, back screen, no, that, that, that was supposed to show up here. Um, <laughs> it's the smallest of the three rooms, it's a little narrower. So we set that up as my working room and gaming room. And I can film in here, I also want to stream in here. So I got the two monitors set up, my nice computer here. I have a little bit of a, a green plant here. I got the fake plant from Ikea with this little guy. He's just so hanging cute. out. One thing I really am bad with is cable management and I need to do a better job. I don't know how, but I need to deal with that stuff and somehow make it look a little cleaner. Then I got these cool pictures on the wall. Levi, Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball 1, and then we have a Food Wars one here. These are display plates. I made a video about that on my channel, Potato Phil, if you want to check them out. I like them a lot. And I have two shelves in here. This one is supposed to be the little bit more organized one. I have uh, all the camera gear here and a little bit of light, my sunglasses. And this one is just a dump at the moment. I don't know, uh, that's storage. I have so much little stuff flying around. One thing that was very good, we got this carpet before we moved. We said that in the last video and it helps a lot with uh, sound and with comfortness too. It's very nice on the feet. Uh, we got actually the same light as in the living room, just a little smaller. And I like that a lot. It gives this nice little warm contrast. And I also have the blackout curtains, but they're very wrinkly. That happens if you don't iron them after you bought them. So let's follow along across the hallway. Door the number floor. six. Another thing Deanna noticed is that these doors lock from either side. You have this little metal key and it goes in either from the inside or the outside and you can just lock the door. It is so creepy. You can just lock someone into a room. Also these handles are not the little knobs that I'm used to. They're proper handles. Weird thing, we have this like, these half see-through doors. Yeah. They're a little old school. I don't think they're as typical anymore, but they definitely were at some point. Anyway, welcome to the master bedroom. This is where the magic happens. In every room tour, <laughs> in every house tour, the master bedroom is like the highlight at the end. And this one is not that spectacular. However, one thing that I really, really liked and looked forward to is our bed. I was planning this for years. This bed is two meter 40 wide. We have a 140 mattress and a one meter mattress next to each other. And uh, that's also very typical in German apartments to have two mattresses and you just shove them together. But the advantage is it's not just like queen size, but you can make it as big as you want to. We also have like four blankets, like two each. We had side sleeping pillows. We have uh, all the plushy babies in there too. As you can see, we also have to store our bikes here, which is a little bit unfortunate because we just have no other space for that. We don't have an inner courtyard. The situation in front of the house is not so good. So we bring them into the apartment and this is honestly the only spot we can really put them in. Um, but so far they're not bothering us that much. So in the bedroom they are. Yeah, we give them a nice wipe down. They're good to go. Welcome to the cozy corner. <laughs> this is my side of the bed. I got this nice side table from eBay Marketplace and I, I, it was a little busted. So I did black nail polish and painted <laughs> the edges that were cracked. Yeah, so that's one disadvantage of the white bed. I don't have enough space for another side table, but that's okay. If Phil could have it his way, he would have an entire room with just mattresses. Just mattresses, an yeah. entire apartment. Yeah, that'd How be awesome great. would that be? All right, so we're gonna go to the creepiest room in this building. I cannot go down there alone at night, the basement. <laughs> <laughs> the path to the dungeon. There's this little light here. <laughs> I think this is very typical as Germany is a very old country. Um, a lot of the buildings are very old too. Just take a peek into this room. There's where other people store their bikes. So a lot of these buildings have these old basements and this one is very rustic, dungeon-y. Well, look at that high ceiling though. That's the quality. Yeah, the high ceiling. <laughs> also very typical, these storage rooms, they're often separated by these wooden things. Somebody has a like, nice barbed bob wire, wire on top of oh, here. Yeah. So because depending on the city and your neighborhood, these get breaking into a lot. And then, yeah, we have this little nice torture room. <laughs> I 
I always think this looks like somebody, I don't know, butchered. Yeah, and then hung him up on these things like a final destination thing or saw, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but this is where the trash goes basically. It's just overall a pretty creepy basement. It's full of spider webs and creepy crawlers, I would assume. I hate it. This is where we have to drop off the trash and recycling. We have to separate in Germany, so there's the plastic, there's the paper, which is always too small, so there's extra paper and glass outside. And then this is the regular trash here. And I think the coolest thing, I think this is normal in big cities, but they come through the bottom and pick it up when the trash guys yeah, come. Yeah, that leads to the street, to the floor level. Yeah, and they pull it up from above, which I think is the coolest thing. But if you're our soulmate patrons, you've already seen this creepy basement. We did a video for you guys, and we wanted to give a shout out to our soulmates today. Yeah, so big thank you to our soulmates, Ricky, Dorian Dino, Gary and Amanda Day, Laura and Jared, the two restless retirees, and Christina Lights. Big thank Thank you to you guys. Thank you guys. All right, that's it for this video. Let us know what you think. Typical German apartment or not, and do you like it or not? As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. one. Bye.